I'm your instructor, Katie Graham. I'm going to be the person helping you navigate through English and history and other content. So I thought it would be nice to have a video that lets you have a face and a voice with the person behind the name. Um, over the years that I've been teaching, I have consistently seen some issues that students face that really impairs their ability to be successful in the classroom. So I wanted to present you with those strategies to overcome those challenges so that you can get through this course and earn your credit. So the number one is be proactive. That means you have the tools available to you. You have the reading, you have the internet, uh, videos, whatnot. You have the things laid out there to be successful as long as you're reaching out and utilizing them. So please, when you do work, make sure that you're doing your best effort each time. The attitude of, eh, it's good enough really not going to do you the best. Um, it might eke you out to the credit, but it also might not. So if you just start with the attitude of, I'm going to approach this with my, my best work possible, I really sat and thought about this before I gave my answers, then that's all I can ask for and that's all you can ask of yourself. Um, to help you in that work that you're doing, there are some tools you can access to just kind of give you a little extra boost. And one of those is Grammarly. It is a free internet spell checker basically, so that when you're typing in Canvas or typing in Google Docs for any of your written assignments, it's checking your, your grammar, your punctuation, your sentence structure, your capitalizations, um, just making sure that you are writing in a professional, formal manner. This is, this is not just texting your buddy, this is an academic setting, and so there is an expectation, especially in an English class, that you are applying the rules. And guess what? If you're not sure, Google it. It's an amazing resource. I have to Google things all the time. Do I capitalize this? How do I spell this? Is this the right context? I'm not sure. So use the resources at your disposal. Okay, the other thing is nine out of 10 assignments, I'm giving you feedback. I'm letting you know in the grade what was missing. What else do I need? What didn't you maybe not quite grasp or interpret the question in the way that I was looking for. I'm going to let you know how you can tweak your, your answers to be able to boost your, your score. The nice thing is you can redo any quiz or writing assignment. So that's really helping you even if you don't have necessarily the best grade in your first submission. If you did your best, I'm then going to help give you the feedback to be able to do even better and stretch yourself, okay? Mistakes are learning opportunities. They, but they shouldn't be, oh, I made a mistake, I'll just move on and not find out how to do better next time. Uh, the other thing is you have the tutoring center available for you. It's online, it's super accessible. You can turn in an assignment, an, a writing assignment or sample and they can read it, give you some feedback and then you can go make those critiques before you turn it in. So use them. The other thing is just because you're enrolled in this class doesn't mean you're enrolled in the high school plus credit. What we do at about week seven, because the official enrollment is in week eight, is we look at the grade book and look at, are you on track with the majority of your assignments? Are you working through this class in the order it should be and you're pretty close to being where the assignments are saying you should be at? And are you at a 70% or better? If we can say yes to both of those, guess what? We put you on, your credit, on our credit report so that at the end of the quarter, we are able to give you a letter grade that lets you get that high school credit to either work towards your diploma, brush up on your basic skills, be able to qualify for college level classes. Um, but if you maybe do a lot, do some work early on in the quarter and then don't check in for a couple of weeks, that's telling us, oh, they're not really engaged in the class. We're not going to, to sign them up for credit because we don't want to enroll you in a class that you're not going to be able to pass. If at the end of the quarter during the last two weeks, you happen to just like bust out a bunch of work, great. You have the potential of still earning the credit but you won't get it until the following quarter. So just stay engaged with the classroom, work through it week by week, uh, assignment by assignment. If, you're, if life is 
frustrating you and you're just overwhelmed and don't have enough time for everything, there's a potential if you reach out to me, I can say, you know, this assignment, it really isn't overall big picture important, skip it. And I can maybe help you alleviate some of your stress and help you prioritize the assignments that do need to be completed. Uh, the other thing is I make either weekly or every other week, I make announcements that just update you on upcoming due dates, uh, important things for you to be aware of. So you need to be checking my announcements. Please view them, view your feedback and all of that. And if you apply all of these, doing your best effort, really just staying engaged, reaching out to me when you struggle, you're gonna make it through. So good luck.